thanks for tuning in. So in this video, we're gonna install the Pixelcade DMD feature for Pinup Popper. So first thing you wanna do is launch a browser and go ahead and do this from your actual PC that you're running Pinup Popper on. Go to pixelcade.org and then we're gonna to go to download Pixelcade DMD and then just scroll down to the Popper section so right here, pin and popper install instructions. And first thing we need to do is download the installer. So we've tried to automate most of the settings for you. And this is also going to automatically install the artwork for you as well. Um, and there's a couple manual steps that you need to do at the end, which I'll show you when we get there. So go ahead and let this download. It's downloaded, so let's go ahead and run the installer. Okay, so first step, this is very important. So you gotta make sure that you install this in your VPIN MAME folder. So this is, assumes that you've already got Visual Pinball installed. So you just wanna browse to wherever your Visual Pinball installation is, and then click on your VPIN MAME folder. Very important, this won't work if you don't install it in that specific folder. Hit next. Okay, so now it's gonna ask us what COM port our Pixelcade is on. So you can see here we're on COM6. If you have multiple devices plugged in, like let's say you've got a send-in gun, you might see multiple devices that say USB serial device. So you might need to unplug one of them and then just figure out which port Pixelcade is. But in this case, it's six. So just type in six here, don't type in COM as the instructions say above, hit okay. And then here we want to tell it what size Pixelcade you have. So if you've got um, anything P3 and above, you want to hit yes. If you have the 2.5, which is traditionally what you'd have a DMD, then you'd hit no. Okay, so now it's asking us, are we using Pin and Popper? So you want to say yes. And this will come up, just go ahead and close this. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to tell it where our Pin and Popper install is. So Typically, you might have a folder called pinup system, and then you want to basically tell it where pinupplayer.exe is. Go ahead and hit OK, or hit open. Okay, that's gonna modify one of your global startup files, so I'll show you what that did here in a bit. And then now, this is automatically downloading the artwork. So, this is pretty cool. So you don't have to manually copy and paste files. This is gonna download the Pixelcade DMD artwork from the master repo. We do update that from time to time, so I'll show you at the end of this how to just run the artwork updater to always get the latest and greatest. So it's just downloading that artwork, now it's extracting that artwork, and then it's gonna automatically copy it over to your specific folders in your Pop Media folder. The other thing it's gonna do, with the Pixelcade DMD integration, it doesn't do MP4s. So we've got pixel perfect artwork in ping and GIF format, which displays a lot better than the MP4s, which typically have a lot of artifacts. So a lot of work has gone into making the artwork pixel perfect. Not every table is covered, but most of the main uh, popular tables you'll find are covered. So if you have any MP4s in your pop media folder, it's gonna move those out into a backup folder. So you're only gonna be left with pings and GIFs, and that's what it's copying over right now. So let that finish. Okay, and then now we need to do this one last manual step. And so it's gonna pop up in this page, go ahead and scroll down to the popper section, and it's gonna tell us what we need to do. So basically, this step is all about having the DMD auto switch when you're switching from different emulators like FX2, FX3, Future Pinball, Pinball Arcade. So let's just do one at a time. So we're going to cut and paste this. And then we go back here. We want to go to Popper Setup. Let me, let me close these windows down to give us a little bit of space. Okay, so go to Popper Setup. Click on Emulators. And now let's just go one at a time. So let's go to Pixelcade, or sorry, Pinball FX2. Click on Launch Setup. And then you see this script here. And so we basically just want to paste in that command. I like to put it after the echo off statement, but 
honestly, I think it doesn't matter. You could even put it on the first line if you want. So just go ahead and paste that line in. And that's all we need to do. Let's go back. And then there's one other line we need to put at the bottom in the close script box. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. Go back. And then down here, we paste that line in. Okay, that's it. Go ahead and hit the check bar to, to, to save it. Now let's move on to the next one. So let's do pinball FX3. Okay, so same thing, just copy and paste that command. Okay, so now we'll go to FX3. Same thing, we could put it at the top, but again, I like to put it after the echo off statement. So there's that line. And then now we need to do this one. Okay, hit the checkbox. Let's do future pinball. You don't have an echo off in your script, don't worry about it. Again, just put this towards the top. Okay, I think that's it. So for Visual Pinball X, you don't actually have to do anything, so you can just ignore this one. And uh, there is not a DMD feature at this time for Zakaria, so you're going to ignore that one. I don't have Pinball Arcade set up on this one. I could have added that if I wanted to. Um, but it's not set up. And then for MAME and these other ones, you don't need to do anything. So it's really FX2, FX3, and Future Pinball that you need to add those lines for. And then once you're done, hit uh, Close and then Exit Setup. And then at that point, you're basically done. You, you actually don't even need to reboot. You can just launch your uh, pinup menu right now. And then as you scroll through the games, you'll see that auto switching. And as you launch emulators, you'll get the DMD mode coming up automatically. So after you've set up Pixelcade for Popper, you can go ahead and go back and check later for new artwork and automatically get that. So what you wanna do is go here, find your Pixelcade DMD pinball folder, and then look for this icon called Pixelcade Pinup Popper Setup Wizard in Artwork Updater. So just go ahead and run that. So you can do the same thing we did before. We need to tell it where Popper is. So find your pinup player, hit, o hit open. And then it's automatically going to go back to the repo, get the latest and greatest artwork. So just let this run just like you did before. We typically post on our Facebook page. So if you go to like Facebook, dot com slash pixelcade um, we'll typically post there when we've got new artwork but just check from time to time it's always a good idea and like I said we are up we are updating the artwork the community also does some updates as well so if you want to update some of your own work artwork and contribute please do that just reach out to us we always love it when people do that that's a big help so if you see anything that you like that's missing that would be very much appreciated so now, just like before, it's copying over the artwork to your pop media folder. And uh, right now, at the time of this recording, we've got artwork for Future Pinball, Visual Pinball X, FX2, FX3. There's some artwork, a little artwork for Sicaria, and there's some for Pinball Arcade. So we'll just let that finish. And this part, since you've already done this step before, you can just close this and that's it, you're done. So now you've got the latest and greatest artwork. Like if you go ahead and launch it and the DMD is not working, here's the first thing I would do to troubleshoot. So I'd go here, go to your C drive, go to Visual Pinball, go to VPIN MAME, and we want to look for a file called dmddevice.ini. This, it turns out, for Pixelcade is a very important file because this is where, remember when you went through that installer wizard, that's where the COM port gets set. So if I scroll down here, 
I go to the Pixelcade section. This is what my script did for you automatically, but in case something happened, or this is actually quite common, if you move Pixelcade to a different USB port, the COM port will change. So it's on six now. If I move it to another port, it maybe changes to eight or some other number. Then you gotta remember to go in here and change this as well. So that's an important troubleshooting trick. And uh, so just make sure Pixelcade is enabled. You've got the right COM port. And then another little trick I can show you is there's actually a little command line test we can run. This is really good for troubleshooting purposes. So I'm gonna go out to the command line. We can go ahead and type that in. So it's DMD XT. We want to do a test. Com port. In this case, it was six, and then minus D pixel kit. Okay. So hit that, and then if you see this, if it says found pixel kit on Com six, and you see those hardware IDs, basically you're good to go. So now pixel kit is recognized. The software finds it. And then it's just a matter of, of, of going through the other steps that I showed you earlier. You should be fine. As always, thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any questions, just drop a comment. Thank you.